You ask, the oracle delivers another prediction. Are these predictions or are they just statements of truth? I'll let you decide. Denver takes down Miami in a game four. Um, 108 to 95. It was, it like kind of got close several times throughout the match, but alas, every time Miami got within like six or seven, Denver pulled away. They just keep pulling stuff out of the bag. The team's juggernaut ran rampant through the West, running through the champions of the East now. And this series is over, right? It's over. Denver's up 3-1. Heat can make it interesting. They can create some more, they can make some more headlines out of it by forcing a game six, but this series is over. Denver is far too good. They're so well-rounded. Their defense has been on point. They have so much length, height, skill. The coaching deficit is not, the coaching, I feel like just trades off pretty well. Mike Malone connects real well with his team is able to motivate them. And they were able to get two wins in Miami, games three and four both needed and I think Denver have proved themselves to be worthy, more than worthy NBA champions. Let's talk about the game a little more. Denver rolls ankle in the first, or Jokic rolled his ankle in the first quarter. One of the most durable players we've ever seen. And It didn't seem like it bothered him too much, did it? He can play, he continues to play. It's a good game. Um, gets a crazy fifth foul. That was a big bam. I didn't even think like he sold it very well. Just Scott Foster just fell for it. He's gonna look at that and Scott Foster got got by Bam Adebayo in that play. He embellished it big time but it's not gonna be enough not gonna be enough Jokic and Murray did not have good shooting nights if you were to tell you know a Heat fan you know how poorly they played let's see um Jokic 23 points and Murray 15 points it's like ooh, I take that every day but Denver is a deep team. I say like pound for pound, they're deep. Just all seven of those guys can play. And they were able to snatch a win here with Bruce Brown and Aaron Gordon combining for 48 points. Aaron Gordon with his highest playoff career. 27, very impressive. Very physical, lots of great cutting, just beautiful basketball coming out for Denver. Um, this team, this team's gonna be around next year, my friends. Bruce Brown is gonna opt out of his contract and we'll see what happens. He can probably get a decent sized bag. And with the new CBA, we'll see how deep into the pockets the Nuggets owners are willing to reach in to the tax because they do have some uh, payments to be made. Players are to be paid on that team. If he wants to win again, he'll sign there, because I think they can have a great shot going into the next season, especially knowing what they know now is that they can be an incredibly formidable team. Michael Porter Jr outside of not having again still looking searching for the three stroke i hope he finds it in this last game or else it just feels like a weird ring um of course he's contributed a ton to be here don't get me wrong but it's like i have this ring and you know i didn't play well in the finals at all it's got to be I don't know, it's kind of, that would just be an odd feeling. So I hope he gets this uh, a good game here. Um, 
I like him as a player. Just, yeah, there's, it's volat he's a volatile player, but what's not volatile is his height and the impact he can have rebounding and how he spaces out the floor despite not shooting great. And we can see him adjusting his game a little bit, cutting to the basket. You saw those first two shots just hit, just clunk the front of the rim like, ah, brother. Get it in the hole. So yeah, Denver's complete. The Heat, Struess has not been well. Jimmy and Bam, I mean, we had there's missed layups, but they're just outclassed here. They can't break the Denver defense. It gets ugly. It gets ugly. They're not finding these open threes that they were getting in that second game and in previous series, uh, Denver defense has really uh, hunkered down and built a nice wall. The, uh, I mean, what's there to say? Like, I think this is over. The Heat have met their match. They have made an incredible run through the Eastern Conference, they rolled through the first seed, the second seed, and a hot Knicks team. Congratulations to them, a great season, I think a good success. They're obviously not thrilled with it. Jimmy Butler, a second finals loss, like no. You know, we all want Jimmy Butler to win. Um, he, they just had to be going up against this juggernaut, which no one has had an answer for at all. I keep thinking back to that Sun series with the Nuggets, where the Nuggets looked very, very mortal. And how just, if you have two scores, you need two just outright superstars to take games off these Nuggets. And they have to, I mean, those two guys were combining for like almost 80 points. And they were only able to take two games off Denver. This team is just that good. Um, I don't know how well they rank up against all-time teams, but this teams they're just so dynamic. They have answers for everything. They make you play Denver basketball, and it's a good brand to play. Jokic and Murray, the two-man game is just so commanding. So let's look ahead just a little bit. What can we expect in Game 5 going back to Denver? I think we can expect the final game of the NBA season, Denver coming out on top. But he, Miami's not going to go out without a fight. And this will either be a Denver blowout or the Heat are going to keep it very, very close. Um, Denver's not going to fold over. And I, I, say, I say blowout or keep it close because... The Heat are going to send a endless volley of three-pointers. That is what I'm predicting for Game 5. That is what the Oracle sees in his ball. And we'll see how we'll see how good a looks they can get and whether the shots fall in Denver or not. Should Miami win? This has implications on my channel here, as well as the series. Um, the Oracle would be proved wrong, you'd be proved mortal. Um, I don't anticipate that happening. It does spice the finals up a lot though. Just imagining like, once it's weird being up 3-1 or 3-0 because there's a moment for history. There's just the possibility that the team could come back and make history. It's just weird. It's eerie. And I don't like it. You've got to put this Heat team away in Denver if you are the Nuggets. Jokic will... Murray can still... Murray could still make finals MVP. It'll depend on this last game. Well, I think it's going to go to Jokic. Good for him. Great for his resume. I... Wish him all the well. I think he's an amazing player, and I have loved watching him play. Um, I've even been throwing around some of his shot fakes on the post in my basketball games. 
which has been good. I can see why it's so effective. It works. Um, you're not here to, to hear about my game, though. I should I go back? It's weird. It'll just end in Miami. It will never get to a game seven. Um, then we get to the draft and free agency, which is interesting. This show will have to take a little turn. I'll have to kind of study up a little more on things to talk about, but I think I will continue at the Oracle. It stops for no one, for no schedule. Basketball's here to stay, as am I. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Nuggets and five.